come se fosse un porcellino d'India però in versione gigante. Ah! Oh no! I got the color and the size. Anna is right. Hello! That's when I'm not so confident. Me. I think I, I can quite understand a lot because of Catalan. Like, I've never learned Italian, so I'm just hoping. Oh, I think Spain. Then if I fail, I'll be... <laughs> <laughs> Catalan is super similar. It feels like a mix between them both, so... We make, like, sentences is quite similar mm -hmm. in both languages, or maybe even the same. And then the vocabulary is quite similar. Maybe, like, formaggio, formaggio. So it's like, there's, like, many similar mm. words. So, the first word is pane. We're reading it? Okay. Yes, correct. Okay. <laughs> I was there. So, the meaning of pane is bread. How do you say it in your language? We say pan or pa. Uh, we say pão. It's so funny because like, I see how she wrote it and there's like P-A-O. Yeah. When I write, I just put like a, a dash on top, but this is what you're supposed to do. But then how, when she say it, it sounds French, so in French we say pain, mm. but it sounds it's just pain. like pain with like some accent, some like mm. cool accent. Pain. So how did you get the word right? Because it was quite similar, I guess. I feel like sound-wise, pretty similar. Because like we have a, another word in French that like sound the same, so I was just hoping that it was print. So the next word is That's Stella. A That's a B. Oh, maybe? Show me your guesses. This drawing has nothing to do, it's just a yeah, beer. It's correct. So, Stella means star. Uh, how do you say it in your language? We say estrella in Spanish and in Catalan, estrella. It's the same word, just different pronunciation. Mm -hmm. But we have the name Astel, Stella in mm. Spanish. So, that's why I could guess. Yeah, in Portuguese we say estrella. But when I saw it at first, I thought, because that's exactly how we write names, like Stella is yeah, in Brazil. Yeah. In French, we say étoile. And I don't know how I got it right. I just saw it, I was like, wait, that's a beer? Mm. And then I was like, no, that's a name? And then I was like, wait, <laughs> think more, Lucy, think more, because that's not the right answer. And the beer there is a star, no? So the third word is carota. <laughs> Because we're all kids deep inside. <laughs> okay, so show me your guesses. So there's no word. I mean, there is a word. So, carota means carrot. How do you say it in your language? In Catalan we say pastanaga. In Spanish we say zanahoria. So how could you so guess the right word? Because actually it sounds quite similar to English yeah. in this case. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, well, I got it from, uh, from the English actually, because in Portuguese we say cenoura. Mm, so it's not mm. that similar. Mm. Well, in French we say carotte. So okay, carotte. it's pretty oh. similar. My cute, my cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is cute. So now I'm going to introduce myself in Italian. Oh, Let's Lord. see what oh. you can guess. I'm still. Oh. I speak quite fast, so I'm gonna speak the, <laughs> my normal, my normal speed. Okay. Ciao a tutti, my mio nome è Giulia. Lavoro come attrice e modella. Uh, qui in Corea. Mi sono trasferita in Corea circa quattro anni fa, dopo aver vissuto in Giappone per circa un anno. In realtà è un po' strano perché uh, ho studiato giapponese all'università, ho vissuto in Giappone e poi ho deciso di venire in Corea. E fra le cose che mi piacciono sicuramente gli animali, nail art, skin care, passeggiare a lungo. That was fast. Yeah. So what did you get? I'm not the first one. I even name. forgot what I said. Okay. So tell me what you got. Well, I didn't get sentences. Okay. First of all. <laughs> okay, so just I got your name, like uh, Julia, and then that you're a model in Korea or something like this. And you came like four years ago or you also learned Japanese in university? And so that's why you got you came to Korea like because like you got interested in Japanese and then know something I don't know. You have you like or I don't know about nail art and then skincare. Not too bad. I think you got like Maybe 80%. And I'm so slow writer, so I was like, wait, what is she? So I, I, you know, I first started seeing your name, an actress and model, and that you've been in Korea for around like four years. Uh, but before that, you lived in Japan for a year. I'm guessing you went to university there, but there was something university in mm -hmm. the middle. Correct. And then you were talking about a little bit about the stuff that you like, which was I got animals, skincare, and hang out with friends. Yeah, there are some 
some little mistakes, but you got most of the things I said. Okay. I wrote words, but I have here more things. You said your name and that you're an actress and a model and that you've been four years, around four years living in Korea, but before coming to Korea, you were in Japan and that you studied Japanese at university. Got, and the things you like, like art, animals, pasajare, mm -hmm. something like that, and skincare. I think you are the one that got most of the information. I said my name, I said my, my job, I've been living here for four years and I came here after I lived in Japan for mm -hmm. one year. And I lived in Japan because I studied Japanese in the university. You, you wrote that I like art, but actually it's nail art. Ah, nail art, oh, skincare, sorry. animals and taking long walks. This is what I got in. Yeah. Didn't the, I didn't I get a lot. How do you say like, take long walks again? Passeggiare. We have the word that's like, walk around, which yeah, is passear. Yeah, 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 oh, passear in Spanish. And it's like walking. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna tell you my hobbies. Mm -hmm. Ultimamente mi sta appassionando molto il disegno, la scrittura e sto anche ricominciando a leggere libri. È da una vita che non leggo un libro purtroppo per il lavoro, ma adesso sto finalmente ricominciando. Mi piacciono molti libri fantasy. Che altro? Ho un gatto a casa eh, qui in Corea, quindi mi prendo cura del mio gatto. Sempre con il mio gatto mi piace andare a fare i giri al parco, le passeggiate con il gatto. <laughs> oh my god! No! So let's start from Lucy. What did you catch? I don't know, you talked about like design or something, structure? No? I don't know, I don't even know. I'm, I'm... So I got that lately she likes like drawing writing, she also likes reading a lot, and then she was, she said she had a cat, and then here in Korea she spent, or is it back home that you have a cat? I don't know. But you like spending time with a cat, you like going on walks with your cat? Mm -hmm. I That's heard this one she too, got, but I, she got a lot. I heard this one too, but I didn't have time to write. <laughs> But there was a point. Before saying that you like reading fantasy, I think you said something that you, you, you used to not read that many books or something like this. You said something mm, about the amount something. of reading yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you said that lately you are into fantasy books and mm -hmm. then that you have a More cat in your house in Korea and you like going for a walk with okay. your cat and the things you like doing with your cat and what you first said that lately you're, you're into designing, writing and... So I said that I recently uh, like drawing, mm -hmm. writing and reading books and then I think that's the part that you didn't get. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while that I haven't read a book because I didn't have time but these days I'm finally starting again mm -hmm. and amongst my favorite books there are fantasy books mm -hmm. and then I said that I like animals so I have a cat at home here in Korea and I usually go for walks with my cat in the park. Like I don't know why but I, I understood like the cat and house, but then I was like, is she referring to like Italian? Yeah. Like ah. your house in Italy or here? And then I, I understood like before you were talking that you like taking walk and then the same word came out, came back with the cat and I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. But then you yeah. were talking so fast and I was just making like yeah. this face. She saw me I'm like, no. Yeah, that part that you were like, I don't read many books these days. I was like, um, I'm lost. I've never thought that I'd speak fast, but after <laughs> reading the comments, and after yeah. like hearing your opinions, I'm like, oh, maybe but I you do speak. speak. So now I'm gonna describe my favorite animal. I hope you get it right. <laughs> Fa parte della famiglia dei roditori. È il più grande roditore al mondo. È di colore marrone. E secondo me è un po' come se fosse un porcellino d'India, però in versione gigante. <laughs> ah! I know! I got the color and the size. Okay, so show me. Right. Wow. Anna is right. I because at the beginning you said that it was like a big rodent. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And then it was brown. Mm -hmm. Again, giant. <laughs> it looked like a red, but a big red. Yeah, yeah. I understood the size of the animal and what kind of animal it is and something that is cute. But but then I, I was like, oh, I don't know that that kind of animal in Spanish. Mm -hmm. I I just got the color and the size. I don't know this. <laughs> Hard. challenging. So, I feel like I worked my brain today. So I expected Anna not to understand what I was saying and I expected Lucy really? to understand No, I'm just stupid. And you, like, yeah, Irene, I thought that she would 
that guess like most of the things. I think what helped me is because I know a bit of Spanish and I know a bit of French, so I've got the uh, upper hand here. Stop! Hey, hey. I'm French. I know a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> I didn't get what she said. Like first of all, I know that many words are so different. Like. Yeah. Of what I heard, like even the, the walking part, I would mm. I would never guess. And the, this animal, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but a lot of vocabulary, just really similarities, like mm -hmm. the, the size and the, the colors and stuff. They so never studied Italian. Yeah, yeah, never, yeah studied never studied it. I think, although like here we have a context, right? Because you always say like I'm gonna talk about an animal, I'm gonna mm. talk about my hobbies, but maybe like if we're having like a conversation at a different setting that we don't have a context to, yes. it's, it would be even harder to mm -hmm. understand. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But then it's still hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> so today we tried to guess uh, it, the Italian language. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And we will see you soon. Bye! Bye.